Hello! In this video we are going to talk about sending the data to the Google Cloud via the POST method. Our tools are initially Postman which uh, in which we will uh, do it before we will dive in inside the ESP ITF and our database is a Firestore Cloud database which is part of Firebase and uh, we Firebase is a part of Google Cloud. Our purpose is to update the data that we created. We, we in the previous video we created a collection with the automatically generated document name and inside this document we created two fields memory and name and we want to add another document we will use the post method for our project which we have here and for our collection which is written here let's see okay the creation of the of of um, of the data was successful we have the ok method and here we have a document with the following data now our purpose is to make the same operation from the ESP IDF first we will take the string in the web you have uh, a lot of uh, different uh, converters because uh, I prefer I will do in the simplest way in this example and uh, send a string here we have a JSON format so we want to convert from the JSON format to a string format And now, when we have the data that we want to send, we will open our project and paste the data here. Okay. Save. And what a we have is the same program as is if in the previous video with the same includes a uh, same certificate which we explained in the previous video it's our standard Wi-Fi connection and here we changed after we connected to the Wi-Fi the post is a get request from the previous video to the post rest function which is we have here we didn't have they didn't make any change from the handler which is initiated here so we will talk it's exactly the same so we will talk only about the post rest function here we will define the config which is exactly the same as in the get method uh, example except we define the method HTTP method post a another addition is those three lines when we have the post data that we just created and we actually want to send let's change it to uh, 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 just to make uh, some change from uh, the data w which was created by Postman here we define for the client the post data and the length of the post data this is uh, the data definition uh, uh, line and also please note we have to define the header without the header it won't work with th those three lines added we can uh, we we don't doesn't cha change the performing cleanup of the 
a rest function from the previous video only those three lines were the addition now let's uh, compile and see Uh, the performance. Meanwhile, when it's compiling, I will just remember that this is a certificate, the uh, short reminder that this is a certificate which we explained how to uh, uh, make in the previous video. Please note the CMake list and component MK is exactly as in the previous videos, but they have to be updated and uh, inside uh, my data I have my Wi-Fi credentials okay we compiled it Wi-Fi was initiated and we see the uh, the event handler on the event data action have sent it to the memory additional ODSP if we'll open it in the uh, in the in the expl in, in the browser, we see our our first um, uh, document that was uh, created previously. We see old ESPs that we created with Postman, and we see additional ESP uh, that we have created from the ESP32. So. Now we demonstrated the ability to post data to the Google Cloud from the ESP32 via HTTPS uh, secure protocol. Thank you.